thing is they roll for hours and hours and hours and spar for hours and hours they and do, hours. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what happens, they've done it. Prepared. They've got out of it a thousand times. Right, this last time out, this guy coming up, Fabio Casting from Mike's Gym, fought Dan Win Stanley, uh, put Dan down in the first round, Dan come back, knocked the guy out in the second round. Uh, was due to be a rematch on, on board. Um, it's obviously not happened for, for one reason or another. Um, you know, obviously we'd love to see that fight again, but at the end of the day, um, Alex uh, Kyolak stepped up to the plate and uh, this is for the welterweight K1 title. Yeah, so I think everybody was, uh, even myself, was looking forward to a rematch on this one. You, you remembered it from the, uh, from the other fight night. As you say, it's not come off for one reason or another, but there's absolutely no doubt that Mike's gym, they just, they bring it. I mean, they bring their A-game. These boys know what they're doing. And hopefully, Alex Kyolak has, has come well and truly prepared. New to me, do you know of him? Never heard of him. Let's see what he's come with. Fabio just coming into the ring now. Okay, gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds of K1 fighting. And it's for the Phoenix Fight Night K1 Middleweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man brings with him into the cage a record of four wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall. He weighed in at 70 kilograms. Fighting at a Ministry of Martial Arts in Bacal, Romania, here is Alex Kiola. So this fight's coming all the way from Romania to fight somebody from Holland in Bournemouth on the Phoenix show. You telling me we're not world known? I bet Jimmy Johnson's cringing at the thought of the travel expenses on this one. <laughs> Jimmy's like Nick the Greek, he's got his fingers in every pie. Huh? Jimmy's gonna have to sort out his own airways at this rate. We got more internationals than the Man City lineup. Fabio, good to go as ever. Gives him a stare down. Ready. Well, Eastern Europeans, they don't roll over. I must break you. Very professional. Both eager to get to each other. Yeah. Go on in, Trev, let him at him. Trevor Cheney and the referee, let him go. Touch of gloves, and away we go. Big kick. So we're in the middle of um, one corner in Dutch and one corner in Romanian. I, I know a bit of Dutch. Well, to me, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like being in a kebab shop at three in the morning. <laughs> Everybody's trying to speak sense, non being made. All jokes aside, these boys just took off fast again. Not too, too dissimilar to the last K1 fight we've seen. And we know for a fact from the last fight that Fabio is one strong, strong man. Oh, absolutely. Last time it was a war. Caught with a left hook there, but he's got a tight right hand, so he's, he's got a tight guard, Fabio. Good shot again. That's a happiness from the Romanian corner. I think that's uh, maybe just trying to encourage their, their man a little bit more than is actually getting through. That's a good left hook and a right hand after. Looks a strong man, this Romanian. Looks very strong, Alex Kerlak. But Fabio, I haven't seen his last fight, knowing what he can come with. Lovely good, inside low kicks. Low kicks. And a good right hand, hand as well. Hey, 
And goes referee will bring them back up. Romanian corners more than happy with their man's work so far. Got to say, I think he's getting the better of the round. Looks strong, yeah, Ross. Yeah, he looks he's strong, strong, doesn't he? Both like, he's a bit shorter than uh, Fabio, but yeah, yeah, he's definitely. Um, Definitely a strong little mush. It's a good knee. It's a great knee, but another great oh. right hand. Oh, oh it's caught lovely. the left dog and a knee. Now he's on the back foot. You just feel he's got strength, though, this Romanian. Someone's getting knocked out yeah. there. He's just took the wind out of him. The, the last 10 seconds of this round, he's took the wind out of him. Lovely body. Just done enough to put him out. And that could be a massive swing in for the second round. He just took it I, out I, of him. I think, you think Fabio took that? You think Fabio's got a first round? I'm going to go with Alex Kyrlek on that one. I think Fabio done a lot in, at the end of the first, but I think Alex... Quite, had, quite scrappy I think Alex had just done enough for my money, but... You know more than me when it comes to kicking. For me, I'd have gone just like with Alex, but as I've said before in other fights, I think he just showed Fabio enough at the end of that round of his weaknesses, and I think he just picked up on it, and that could be the undoing of him. Ready for the second. <laughs> so we get ready for round two. It's a cracking first round. Both waiting to get to each other. Yeah. Say so for more money, I think uh, Fabio just just caught his number at the end of that first round and by the looks of it he feels it too starting off the second as he ended the first great right hand and again Fabio's getting caught a lot he does get caught with a lot of shots but Seem to bounce off him. Yeah. Still keeps coming forward. Strong, tight guard. Pair of them. Good matchup again. Great matchup. Good work by both lads here, to be fair. Yeah. So it's times, as you, you got to say, you know, for, for the the promoters and, and everybody who goes puts work into these shows it's hard enough putting on a big show as it is but to get such good matches you know fair play well done to the, the johnson jimmy johnson sarah johnson and, and mark Plunkett's work that's gone into it and all the coaches at phoenix mma you know everybody plays a part in these shows and these matchups are absolutely superb Both look at strong and fit, earning their money in there. Big work in that. Both of them are friends. Hard shots. There's, there's no 50-50s in there. There's no half-hearted shots. It's full blown every time. And Alex Kyalak for me just then looked to tire. Just a tiny bit looked to start tiring. 
Mouth open a little bit now. For me, that was the first sign of time. This, I seen his, his jaw dropped, his, his head dropped. Still throwing the shots, but obviously the more tired he becomes, the less impact they're going to have. And we know how hard they train at Mike's gym. Good shots, though. Great shots again. Great kick. Lovely low kick. It's a great kick. Tiredness creeping in now. Last ten. And that's the end of the second round. Good round for Fabio, that one. Fabio for me, that one, definitely. Alex had some good clean shots, but I think yeah. overall the, the round was one. I think the better work. He's, he's pushing on him, going at him, putting on him constantly. That is 1-1, uh, 2-0 one, one, to you in rounds. I've got it as 1-1. One, one. Going into the final round. Referee telling him to clean his mess up this time. Both corners absolutely drenching their corners in water. Dutch team at least prepared for it. They brought about six towels. And this time the Romanians are mopping up there, save the referee a job. Is he happy with it? He's happy. So we're going to go into the third and final round. Fabio looking the stronger going into this third round for my money. Both trading. Obviously, both corners would have said, regardless of, of who we think, it's obviously close. Both corners would have said that. So they need to make an impression. Fabio's, on this, uh, this Fabio's last getting through some big shots now. Yeah. Shreff nearly got caught there with the left hook. <laughs> we did see a referee flattened. Especially Trev. Or would we? Be a little bit funny. Alex is uh, he's really tired now. Fabio definitely doing the work now. Okay, Alex, Alex is remaining. He's looking tired now. He's taking a lot of body kicks, he has, yeah. and I think they're starting to slow him up. A lot of leg kicks, a lot of body kicks. <laughs> Lovely leg kicks by yeah. Fabio. The problem with tiredness once it creeps in is, the, is this lack of defence and even even for somebody winning like Fabio is it only takes that split second of uh, lack of concentration and that's absolutely it... one punch in the face as Fabio found out in the last one exactly and this Romanian you know he, he, he looks strong and that's all it takes so uh, he's got to keep on his game here and for me wins this round he's going to win this fight he gets caught in a big right there but I just think maybe that maybe Alex uh, the Romanian lad just give everything what he's got in the locker and now it's more a case of seeing out the round. Dumb shields out. And we have to time out as uh, Alex's gum shield comes flying our way and Ross plays cricket. 
just like the way he did actually drop it, he didn't catch it. The bell can't come soon enough for Alex now. Yeah, he's definitely, he's seeing his way through to these points, but he's a well-earned point, you know, he deserves to make points, he's certainly given it enough to make points, but I think now Fabio is uh, well in control. I'm going to take this point, points victory. That's a good fight, well done to yeah. both fighters. It's Fabio all day long on that. Fabio takes the result as predicted and well deserved. But well, what a performance by Alex Kyla. Again, superb matchup, good fight. And a fair, fair result.